I just did something the other night and it's a, it's an art thing so I thought I'd, I'd give a quick tip. It's a, it's a, it's a quick tip with uh, making making your artwork look look nice. Like this one. I went out and bought this little frame here. This, this like frame. And it looks really nice. You can just like hang it on a wall. I didn't put a, I didn't put a hanger on the wall, but you can hang it on the wall. It's got a nice little black frame. This is like less than than five bucks per frame if you use that Hobby Lobby discount. I mean, if you don't like Hobby Lobby, I understand, but they got a good discount. But let me show you what it'll look like on actual. I just hung up another painting. I just hung up. I just I just hung up this painting uh, that I did. But I'm, I'm gonna put this. Now this is a really nice frame you can make if you got time and and money to spend, but if you just want something that looks kind of nice, very minimalistic, I would say. Oh my gosh, would you look Would you look at that. See, it's very minimalistic. It's good, I think, for the canvas board. Now these are typically for like just pictures, but I think they're really nice for paintings, especially if you have canvas board, you don't know how to like present it. It's a really simple way to do so, but you have to do a thing first. What you gonna do is you gonna go to Hobby Lobby, you gonna buy one of these picture frames. The cover looks like, it looks like this. Uh, this is what they have at Hobby Lobby. They probably have a different one at Michael's or other stores, but it's, 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 it's just a quick frame. Then you gonna, it's gonna have glass in the front of it. So you're gonna wanna take that glass out. Uh, you can use that later as like a palette. I like glass as palette. So you put a little piece of cardboard behind it. Uh, some gray paper. See, I have one right here. I made a bigger one. But I got the glass. You take the glass out, and then what you're what you're going to want to do is you're going to go. You're going to flip this frame over. Uh, I wish I had another one to be a better tutorial if I did, but I don't. So deal with it. What I did is you flip this over without the image in it. I'm not going to pop it out. But you're going to have the side up that's that's going to be facing against the image, and then you're going to want to get some glue. So I recommend this. This is this, this is the dang old strongest glue you ever done seen in your life. Holds metal, wood, glue. You can glue some glue together even if you wanted to. And you're just gonna you're gonna run it along the inside of all these little edges. Now there's little edges on here. And you, there's little edges like here because it sinks in on the inside of the frame. But there's little edges there, and you can just put like a little bit of glue. Just just draw put it put it on the edge. Just put put it on the edge. Just a little bit. You don't need very much. This glue is strong as hell. You don't need very much. And it's got a good nozzle. This is a good nozzle to, to get them little edges. But essentially, you just put it on there. Put your image in there. Flip it over. And then you go and put stuff on top of it. You might want to put some like wax paper down on top of it if it's acrylic. Uh, I don't know if I would do this with... Uh, the reason I had to put stuff on top of it is because this, pic this, uh, this canvas board got kind of warped a little bit uh, as it got through time but I had to put some stuff on it uh, luckily it was completely dry did not stick uh, too much you gonna you gonna want let you gonna want you you gonna want let that sucker sit overnight but yeah now you got and when you glue it all in there it's holding on it's just a nice little frame you know it's not super expensive it's not fancy but it's it's enough especially if you got canvas boards you paint a canvas board you got to put it in a frame you got to put it on something and this was this was less than five dollars you know it's a good it's a good frame for you know for a tiny little painting uh, that's my solution for that so if you got if you want more art uh, tip, tips ask them because i've been doing art for a little while and dang a little prepubescent blastoise over here i know i ain't the first to think of this but i thought it'd be good information to pass along because it's something i didn't know about till like a couple days ago or didn't really think about till a couple days ago in fact i got the idea from a, a girl in my class i didn't i didn't even come up with this thanks for watching